What's up guys, it's me, Noir Low Bomber, and today I have a uh, discussion topic for you guys. And that topic, uh, discussion topic is, will Kingdom Hearts 3 get some sort of playable demo um, in, in one form or another, whether that be at a game convention or, and or, um, and or like a demo you can download onto your PlayStation 4. So, um, first off, Kingdom Hearts 3 re really isn't known for their downloadable demos. The only downloadable demo I can think of when it comes to Kingdom Hearts is uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So if you don't know, uh, back in 2012 when Kingdom Hearts 3D was about to be released, uh, they had a uh, playable demo for, for people on the 3DS. And pretty much all you could do in the demo was either play through the tutorial fighting... Um, Ursula's tentacles with Sora and learning about flow motion basics and everything or you can uh, Go through parts of the story and go through the uh, fourth district and then the fifth district and fight the Hoko monkey Um, so it was actually a pretty decent demo. I pretty much played it until Kingdom Hearts uh, 3d he came out um, and Honestly uh, cause it, it came out, I think, like, I want to say it came out a long time before, uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, the actual Kingdom Hearts 3 Dream Drop Distance game release, at least a month, at least a month, so I played that straight for a month, but, uh, on to, uh, you know, Kingdom Hearts 3, um, I can definitely see Kingdom Hearts 3 being a playable demo, uh, at a gaming convention, um, whether it's going to be at D23 next month, I don't, I don't, I'm not very sure. Or will it be at D23 in Japan uh, it, later this year? Um, maybe. Uh, and then that being said, Tokyo Game Show, and then uh, Jump Festa, and then if it isn't out by E3 next year, will it be at E3? Uh, more than likely, yes to all of them. So that really isn't the big part of the topic that I want to talk about. The big part of the topic that I want to talk about is whether it's going to be a downloadable demo on Kingdom Heart or, or on the PlayStation 4 because you know there are people that can't afford to travel to Tokyo or some people that don't live in Los Angeles. They can't travel to they 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 don't live in Los Angeles so and some people don't have the money to uh travel to Los Angeles and you know rent out hotel rooms and you know, try and buy tickets for a gaming convention uh, just to play, and especially if you're only there to play a single demo. Um, it, it, you know, it, it's not a good investment, especially if you don't have that kind of money. So it, it would make a lot of sense if they also allowed um, a demo on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One where uh, may, maybe you go through a different part of the story uh, in the demo, but either way, it will it would be a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo. And I know a lot of you are thinking, um, wait, Noir, 0 0.2 uh, is technically a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo. Well, yes, that may be true, but as of now, whether whether you want to look at this uh, this way or not, the fact is Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 now is a standalone title. It's it's now a part of the entry, so it's not like so it's not like it's a beta of a game or or just, I mean, it, it, essentially gameplay-wise, it is a demo, but it is its own story. So, yeah. Um, and it, it's not like Kingdom Hearts hasn't done demos before. They've done demos at gaming conventions before with, I know, the first Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I know they did it for uh, 2.8 with both Dream Real Distance and 0 0.2. And I know they did it for uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. And uh, we just went over Kingdom Hearts 3D and Dream Drop Distance for the 3DS. Um, uh, I mean, how do I put this? Kingdom Hearts 3 really needs some kind of downloadable demo. Because it it's a good way to keep people involved. Or not involved, but, you know, keep them, keep them entertained more until... Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. Now, now I know we have 2.8 and 1.5 plus 2.5, so we have all the Kingdom Hearts games before Kingdom Hearts 3 to play with. But 
who wouldn't want a Kingdom Hearts 3 demo on their PS4? And, you know, it, it would just it would just make a lot of sense. And uh, I swear I had something else to talk about this. Uh, that's, the, that's why I normally don't go unscripted. Uh, but I, I, I am essentially repeating myself, but Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, 0.2 is... Not, I mean, it is gameplay wise a demo, but there are there are aspects in Kingdom Hearts, uh, zero point two that won't be in Kingdom or that, or I should say there are aspects of Kingdom Hearts three that aren't in Kingdom Hearts zero point two, and well, I have a good feeling it's going to be at a gaming convention, um, whether it's going to be uh. Like a Kingdom Hearts 2 demo, it's going to be at a gaming convention, whether that be D23 in Anaheim next month, which I live in California, so I can definitely go by and like stop by if I really wanted to. Um, uh, the it more than likely will be playable in um, in D23 in October uh, in Japan. And uh, I'm guessing it'll also be playable at Tokyo Game Show and or Jump Festa, more than likely Jump Festa, if we were to pick the two, which is more likely. But as as I was trying to point out, there are people that don't have uh, that aren't financially able to um, visit those certain places to try and play a demo. And um, I mean, think about it. Tokyo Game Show, D23. Jump Festa, uh, they're all held in Tokyo, and D23 in Anaheim and E3 are all in California, more or less Southern California. Mm, so, if you don't live in those either, like either in Los Angeles, Anaheim, or Tokyo, you're gonna have to travel, and if you're out of state or out of country, you're gonna have to like rent a hotel room and everything. Heck, you might have to rent a hotel room if you're going from Los Angeles to Anaheim. Uh, but I, I really hope that Kingdom Hearts 3 has a playable demo uh, in uh, on the PS4 and Xbox One. Because honestly, honestly, we need it. And that's my personal opinion. Don't take it as fact that, oh yes, every, every Kingdom Hearts... Uh, player agrees we need it. I'm saying we need it. I'm not saying anybody else does, but this is my opinion. And the, I mean, like I was saying before, but this is a new reason. The biggest reason I think that we should have a uh, playable Kingdom Hearts or, or Kingdom Hearts 3 demo uh, that's downloadable for our consoles is just because it can help. Uh, it help. It can help bring in some insights onto Kingdom Hearts 3 story that. Heck, maybe, uh, I mean, because Nomura said that Kingdom Hearts 3's story is humongously big. And Kingdom Hearts 3 itself is also humongously big. So, um, you know, they, they can add in some extra story stuff that may they may or not have been able to put in 0 0.2 or Kingdom Hearts 3. So, but, you know, playable is either Sora or Riku, or heck, maybe even Kyrie. But it, I, I feel it's necessary. So, I mean, that's that's my personal opinion. Uh, uh, talk, uh, say in the comment section whether you agree with me or not. Uh, I really want to know, uh, or like, do you think the uh, do you think Game will be playable uh, in the next in the coming gaming conventions? Uh, and if you think they are, do you think you're gonna try and stop by on uh, those towns to uh, to try and play the demos, or are you just gonna wait and hope that they're gonna be downloadable on your ps4 or xbox one um so that's all i have to say i uh, hope you guys rate comment subscribe this has been a uh, noir little bomber and i'm out